Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Heyo13579 here, coming back to you with another redstone tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make how to test for multiple variables. Um, so if you're making an adventure map or something and you want multiple things to happen, um, this would be how you would do it. So you know this gold block, this is just the center of the world, if you can see. But um but yeah. Um, I find that it's best to do stuff if you're making a map at the center of the world, that way the coordinates are smaller and it's just easier to remember. So um, I am in uh, 1.9 snapshots right now because I'm going to show you how to do this um, in a way that works with 1.8 and a way that works with 1.9. 1.9 is a lot easier to do, but um, a lot of map makers are still making it in 1.8. So um, this is right here. It's just a simple slash fill clock. Um, I don't have a tutorial up yet, but I'm going to have a tutorial for different redstone clocks up soon. Um, once I do, I'll post it, post a link to it in the description below. So, but uh, let's get started here. So for this, you're going to need um, command blocks. These are just for the slash fill. I'll show you how to get command blocks in a second. Um, you will need comparators and repeaters. And get a command block. If you don't know how to get a command block, it's slash give at p c o m m tab enter. Like that. Or if you have one in your world, you can just middle click on it. Okay, so for this, we're just going to test for a block above the command block um, with three different times. Okay? So we're just going to do slash test for block uh, one, uh, let's say stone. So now that will test for a block above it, stone. So let's see, let's get us a piece of stone. It will test for it in an output of signal. So let's just um, copy that over here and over here. Um, if you wonder what I just did, I just controlled middle clicked that block. What control middle click does is it copies the NBT data of any block. It's very useful for uh, doing multiple things in maps that or repeating things in maps. You can use it for command blocks and for chests as well. So now all of these um, will test for a piece of stone above them. Alright, now what you want to do is put another command block out here. Then you want to come somewhere and however many um, test scores you have, if you're testing for multiple variables, you want to make as many spots as you can. Let me just do that. So make as many spots as you can. And come over, grab a piece of redstone, put one right here, and grab your output command block, um, or put a repeater right here, and then your output command block right here. <laughs> All right. Then what you can do is just put three blocks right here and jot down the coordinates of each. So this is negative four fifty six five six seven. So negative four fifty fifty negative four fifty six five six seven. So what we're gonna do is come over here and do a slash set block command. So negative four fifty six five redstone wire. Not war, wire. If you don't know what a redstone wire is, it's pretty much just redstone dust that you place down. So whenever this census for a block it is going to place it, let me get F3 out, over there. Let me set it to there real quick. Alright. Um, it will set a redstone wire over there, as you can see. So now, let's break that. Let's NBT copy this, put it right here. This will be 6. And MBT copy right there, and this will be seven. So let's do slash say test. All right. So now, whenever we place a command block over one, nothing will happen. Or we'll place stone over one, nothing will happen. Place it over this one, that happens. Place it over this one, it activates the block. So you can do this with anything, any test for command, 
anything. You can do slash test score player, test slash test score inventory, anything. Now, if you want it to only test for whenever there's blocks on all three, and if it's removed, you want it to be removed, then you would have to put another command block, um, another command block testing for air above this to remove that. So you would, for example, you would do, uh, so let's get the coordinates of this. This would be 257.7. So slash test for block, block 254.7 air. And you would do that. And you would do MBT copy that and set it to air. Done. So whenever this is air, hang on, did I mess up? After 257.7, oh, all right, yeah, I did mess up, 257.7. All right, now whenever this is air, it'll test, and it should have cleared that. What? Hang on. There we go. All right. It's 1.9 mechanics. It'll glitch out every now and then. So, test. Clear. Clear. See? That's all you have to do to test for it. If all three, all of them are on there and all of them aren't. So, this is the 1.8 way to do it. As you can see, it's takes up a lot of space and it is very difficult to do. So now, the 1.9 way to do it would be you, would, you wouldn't need the clock at all. It would just be these. So let's clear the inventory. Let's NBT copy. Why am I copying that? Let's NBT copy that and NBT copy the coordinates. So what we will do is that we will place that right there, that right there, that right there. Let's grab us comparators, comparator, 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 and then this should be the coordinates. What is that? Okay. And then... All right, so pretty much this last one, if you want to do it, it's pretty much the same principle. But um, over here, you want to come to this block. This is for 1.9. Set it to repeat and always active. It will turn blue, and the minute you put a piece of stone above it, it will activate. And you do that to all of these. Always active. Always active. Repeat. Done. So, see? That's all it takes in 1.9. That's why 1.9 is so awesome for map builders. It's so much easier to build maps. Um, let's see. Let me show you a map I just got done building. You gotta switch profiles. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'll post the link to this map in the description. But um, I built this map in 1.9 snapshots, um, and it's pretty much just tic-tac-toe, and it's just nothing but test for commands. <laughs> nothing but test for commands. Let's see. Where is tic-tac-toe? Where is it? Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. My game kind of freaked out. But um, yes, this is my tic-tac-toe map I just made. That's all the redstone it requires. 
and it will automatically sense when a player has won the game. And where you put down blocks. See? And then it will automatically reset the board as well. So that works with O. Go. Oh. And works with O as well. And it'll work in any orientation. Only thing I couldn't get is um, if it's a draw, you have to press this button to reset it. But let's take a look at the redstone. Now, as I showed you before, if I had done all this um, in 1.8, it would have been just one long uh, row of of uh, flash fill clocks. That's all it would be. But in 1.9, it is compacted down to this one command. This lone command block over here is just for a saturation effect. Um, so you never get hungry. And this is the block or the clone command. And this is the wind sensor, I call it. So this is all the lines and all the rows that uh, can test for and um, will sense if you win. And over here, I have it whenever it senses a block, it sets a block and then it sets it over here to set redstone everywhere. So this will set the block below it to air once it's redstone, and this will set the redstone wire. So let's go take a look at it. So, so if you would place a diamond right here, if you would place an O right here and an X right here, and then an O right here, O right here, O right here, X right here, and extra here. Place O right here. Okay, now if I put an extra there to reset the board, but let's see here. But you see how all it takes is just one and it'll sense that the X is one. So, or sense that O is one and all it takes down here is one and it'll sense that X is one over there included. So, X is one to match. And it'll clear it. Oh. And it'll clear out the board over there. So it's just a fun little map. I'll post a link to it for the forums in the description below. But um anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like and a comment and subscribe. And I just broke my map. But um anyway. Um, and one more thing before you go, I'm sorry I haven't uh, made another video on um, un Unlikely's map. It's just been so hectic with uh, with exams coming up. I got finals. Um, I hurt my hand a while back. It's just been so hectic around here. I know I say that a lot, but I'm still in high school and I'm dual enrolled in college. So I have a hectic life. <laughs> so just leave me alone, guys. All right. So anyway... Have a good day, dudes, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!